last week we were so fortunate to have been able to, uh, where's my stuff? We were so fortunate to have been able to hire a driver. Actually, he was the best man in our wedding. He was Warren's college roommate. And he came for the week and was our driver. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is the second week of harvest here and, oops, I forgot the keys. And I have to actually take Warren, let's see, I will backtrack a little bit here, which means he was uh, driving in the dump trucks of cranberries, ah, okay, to the receiving station. Not everybody is comfortable driving a dump truck, and those that are comfortable driving a dump truck aren't always comfortable driving it top heavy loaded with cranberries. Um, you have to go slow, you gotta take corners slow, there's just a lot, um, you know, it's kind of technical work I guess. And we were super fortunate to be able to hire a driver um, last week, but he had to go back to, you know, his regular job, and so that means this week Warren is doing the driving. Last week, while Chad was driving in loads, Warren could be um, raking another bed or doing whatever other things had to be done. And then on top of it, the receiving station had uh, some kind of problem over the weekend. So that means that today and this week, we just are on a completely different delivering schedule. Sometimes if I seem a little frazzled, like I don't really know what I'm doing, or I'm like running around like a chicken with my head cut off, that's why, because things just change like, just like that. Here we are, we also have one of our dump trucks that is having some kind of problem with a uh, thermostat. I guess that means it can overheat or not heat up or something like that happens. So I have to stop on my way. Okay, I should back up again. So when, I, when I'm telling you about the driver stuff, that means when Warren takes a truck down um, and the way things are going down there because of their breakdown, that means I have to follow him down and bring him back home because the truck, the dump truck, will have to stay down there until um, all three of our dump trucks get there. Then they'll dump them all at once and then <laughs> Warren will start bringing them back one by one. So anyways, on my way to get Warren from the receiving uh, station, I have to stop by Napa and pick up a thermostat. So I gotta get going. He's expecting me to be there. And um, yeah, we gotta keep this day moving. And it's super cold. It's like 30 degrees. It's snow, not snowing now, but it snowed yesterday enough where I look outside and it actually looks like winter. We're gonna go for a walk. What do you have on, Joe? I'm a snow pants. I know, it is so cold. We're gonna take a quick look. It has warmed up from 30 to about 36 here today. So we are gonna go take a walk down on the marsh. So I'm just getting a ham ready to go. I got out some of that corn that I froze earlier this summer. I think that was back in August. So I got one of those out to thaw. I'm gonna put some hot water in there and just kind of getting a few things ready for supper before we head out. We finally made it outside. It is quite a feat <laughs> to get everybody into somewhat old wintry clothes that is warm enough and that they're all comfortable wearing. But everybody, ooh, and it is windy. Everybody has a different idea of how their winter clothes should fit. The sun is trying to peek out. It's getting a little bright, which is kind of nice for everybody who's out here. I think they're probably appreciating that little bit of sun trying to peek out. Let's go this way, Joe. No, let's go this way. No, this way, please. Well, you can walk down with me and get an extra rake. If you're going to be a worker, you got to be able to. I know, but if you're going to be a worker, you got to be able to do the work. Right? Because that's how it goes. But maybe they'll have an extra rake for you. I don't know. They probably don't. So we're coming up uh, upon the crew again. You guys have seen this lots. Sam's giving us a floss. I don't know if you guys saw that. Are you counting down how many beds are left? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like it's not like uh, I really want it to end. <laughs> you don't want it to end? I, I like 
Okay. <laughs> I don't like I don't hate it and I like hanging out with the people so yeah. Well look at that. Wasn't that a nice thing to say? Amber's like come on. I just hate harvesting. Get it off. Get it off. People are fine. Like they're fine. I just hate harvesting. <laughs> it gets kinda cold. That's for sure. Joe, Joe, get out. And I think that's a ditch right there, buddy. Yeah, Push the rake down and show me how deep it is right there. Whoa. Look at that, Joe. You would go way, way down. <laughs> you don't want to fall in there. Yeah, Joe, see? Like, I got chest waders on, so. Oh, boy. Sam, this you better watch out. In. So every time we come out here and I turn the camera on, I never really know what I'm going to say to you guys because I'm like, well, I've shown the cranberries, I've shown the ditches already, I've shown the trucks, I've shown the trash raking crew and all of that, right? But leave it to that mostly teenage crew. Everyone but Emily is a teenager on that crew. Leave it to them. They always give me something to talk about and to, something to laugh about. As you see, and I'm sure you guys can imagine, uh, hard, laborious work doesn't always sit well with all the teenagers. Some of them like it more than others, of course. Saying this is not talking behind Amber's back, but that's not her thing. It's not that she minds hard, laborious work. It's hard, laborious cranberry work that she minds. She does not like working harvest, and she likes to let everybody know it. She's usually pretty good-spirited about it, which which we all appreciate, but she definitely lets us know that this is not her thing. She does not want to be out, her, out here. It's not always sunshine and unicorns, that's for sure, because uh, hard work is hard work. When you're working in the cold, and you're working for your dad, um, well, I'll just stop it right there. You want to hold my hand? Okay. Joe's back here. Where are you, Joe? He's coming up behind us. Maria's going to hold my hand. Oh, there he is. You going to say hello? <laughs> hello. You want to say hello? Hi. Tell us your favorite way to eat cranberries, Maria. Caramel. Tasty. So, Joe, what's your favorite way to eat cranberries? Um, you don't know? Do you like cranberry juice? Um, no. How about cranberry bread? You do like cranberry bread? Probably the most exciting part about today is that there is this bed of fruit that just got raked, and then just beyond is another bed of cranberries that was raked, and then that means there are only two more to go. And although it is super cold today, we are supposed to go on just a little bit of a warming trend. I know that they're all looking forward to that because we're supposed to end the week in the mid 50s, I think, which is gonna be, again, like 20, 25 degrees warmer than it is right now, which is gonna be a total treat. It's time to pass out the daily dose of candy bars. Here, you wanna hold those? And go give one to everybody. Have one for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So, what happens is the cranberries get caught in the grass along the edge there. And so as the second boom comes through, so they're just trying to get every last cranberry out from the grass that they can, pull them out into the water before the wind pushes them back, because they're getting just about done with the cranberries from this bed. 
So it's pretty rare that I come down here and everything is shut down, but I actually hear a truck coming right now. But currently there are no trucks that are empty. Maria, don't play with that, okay? No, you may not do anything to it. You need to leave it exactly the way Dad had it. He had it there for a reason. So I can give you guys a nice up close and tell you how this all works. So basically, the cranberries are all boomed. And then these green paddles here, they, um, they're chain driven here. They go around, go down into the cranberry bed. They grab cranberries in their paddles. And that's, you can see that each paddle is full right now. And it brings up cranberries, leaves, little sticks and twigs, really anything that's in the water at that time. And they, they get transferred or elevated all the way up. And then if I can, and then they actually are dumped out onto this belt here. And that belt has water spraying on it. And it sprays like all the leaves and everything off. And then they collect onto this belt here. And this big white brush here actually brushes all the leaves and any cranberries that didn't mature properly. Whoa, Maria. They all fall down onto this trailer. And then the cranberries, they end up landing on this elevator. This elevator just has small paddles and it carries the cranberries all the way up that belt. And then there's gonna be a dump truck which happens to be backing up right now. The dump truck is underneath the top of that elevator. And as the el cranberries get to the top, they fall over. That's right in the dump truck. should be sitting up okay. high. It'll be fun. Yes. You guys are pretty lucky. Just another day riding in a dump truck. Joe's trying to keep up with Dad. That's so funny. Look at him. Trying to maintain the stride, huh? It's a long stride. Got to keep up with my harvest diet plan. This is how I lose my 15 pounds. <laughs> All right, so that was abrupt. He's now walking back because I guess the tractor won't start. All right, guys, let's walk. Dad wants us to go all the way to the dump truck. Me? Yes, you. Me? You get to get up in the dump truck. Me? Dad's going to drive you up to the house, and then you're going to get into the car with me. No! <laughs> you don't like that idea so well? No. Did they get the tractor started? Yeah, I hear it. I heard it go. I can hear it, too. We'll have to ask Dad what, went, what happened. I bet, what do you think it was? Do you think it was a safety switch? Yeah. I'm going to guess it was some safety switch. Yeah, what happened? you got to have the BTO off and it's got to be out of gear. Otherwise, it won't start. It's going to be on the mark. <laughs> it's all rainbows and unicorns. You can't say that because I just told everybody before it wasn't all sunshine and unicorns. I'm sitting on your lap. You have warm legs, Joseph. Thank <laughs> you.